Hey everybody, thought I'd do a little quick update on what's been going on. Uh, of course I ran out of lumber, so I've been cutting a little bit more lumber on the sawmill. I cut a few white fur, got a little trailer load of flitches going on there. Got a few 2x6s and some 2x4s. I got some internal uh, walls to build with 2x4s, so I had to cut some of those. Got a little bit of siding cut so far. I still got more to do. But I have. I had to do some more logging, of course. Latest stack I got. On the land down here, I got some, got some nice red fur, red fur logs. Mostly all ten, bucked into ten footers, and uh, got a few twelve footers here. So needless to say, no more work on the house. But being that time of the year, steers are gone out of the corral. And a week ago, we had to get the steers In the cooler. I've been working breaking these down. This thing was full with hanging. But now we're just got two hinds hanging. Now got one one front left. The rest of it has all been pretty much been cut up got a lot of grind to ready to go through the grinder more buckets of, of pieces up there I want to get at least my 10 days out of it the weather's been up until now the weather's been great for hanging doesn't get too hot the day so the tip stays nice we're sitting right at 32 degrees in the cooler right now let's get her closed up again Head back into the shop. Get your shop's running full bore. It got down to 25 last night, so I didn't have to worry about putting any of these back in the cooler. So there's a chunk of there's the sirloin right there. There's the round. Oh, it turned out these steers were uh, Seminole Angus Cross. Already cut the, pulled the uh, strips out of that one. Out from that backbone, got them all bagged up. But the Seminole Angus Cross, the hanging weight on these was just over 300 pounds per half. So it's a 600 pound hanging weight plus per steer. And I got the, I got cut, got this stuff packaged and 
shrink wrapped up into into nice uh, cuts of roast, big roast to go on the smoker to make roast beef. And pretty much I keep make New York strips, ribeyes, filet mignon, and the rest of it. You know, lots of different roasts. The rest goes into uh, into grind to make roast or make ground beef. I make patties, put together patties. There's some ribs stuff. Going to get those processed up today, but. That's about it. And that's why there's no more work on the house right now. Hopefully after this weekend, we'll get most of this done. Oh, I got one more in my inside fridge here. Some people would call it a beer fridge, but I call it a meat fridge. And I got, oh man, if you need smell of vision I got corned beef in the brine right there seven days in that brine and i'll have me a bunch of corned beef ready but this weekend we're supposed to get down to oh right out i think it calls for two degrees which is going to be too cold even for the cooler it's gonna Put the cooler down to below, well below freezing, and hopefully we don't have any of the meat freezing. We're gonna get the last, we we'll get the last of that uh, hanging meat done, cut up tomorrow. Got a couple people coming over to help cut up some more tomorrow, but we right now we're sitting at 30, about 31 degrees in here. So not too bad, great for the meat, but I had to even bring in my bring in my heater to keep my back warmed up. Well, there goes Darth. He's barking at something, of course. So take care all. We'll see you later. <laughs>